morning folks. Well it is a good morning for me. It might not be morning when you're watching this video. Who knows what time it is, what year it is, what day it is. But for me it's a Wednesday morning in the year 2017 and the month is May I believe. Um, May the 31st, I think. 30 days have September, April, June and November. 31st, 31st of May. And here's a Japanese-made Hitachi for you. Now the only other, as far as I remember, the only other Japanese-made vacuum cleaner I've got is that Toshiba I unboxed eons ago. And it's reminiscent of this, but this one is a lot more common than that Toshiba. This one I do remember from my misspent youth. Um, this featured in the Argos catalogues of the 80s. So, oh, it's upside down. You'd think, you know. <laughs> Look, I opened the box because the wording's that way up. So you'd expect the cleaner to be the right way up, but no, it's upside down. Look. This will need a bit of a clean. It's a lovely day today, so oh, that hose is a little bit distorted. Mm, that's a shame. That is a shame. Never mind. Hot, hot water. I don't think it'll help that actually because it's a metal, metal inside. It's a very strong hose. Ah, oh, that didn't show up in the pictures. That's the trouble with buying from eBay. It'll clean up okay. But there's no way I'll get that kinking out. There's some shysters on eBay, isn't there? You see, when I sell on eBay, when I did sell on eBay, I pointed out everything, put lots of pictures up. Yeah, it looks worse. Anyway, it'll clean and polish. This is a an Hitachi stowaway. This is the stowaway box that the vacuum actually sits on, so all the accessories should fit inside that box. So why the seller didn't pack it like that, I don't know. Some people, yeah, it looks a lot worse in real life than it did in the pictures. Never trust eBay photos, folks. Well, that's in one piece, that's the handle. It's dirty, of course. You've got your suction relief valve there. It's all a bit smelly. A bit of biological powder and a soak. It says on here, twist. I don't know if we can focus. Focus? Focus, Luke. It says twist, but above twist, that must be Japanese for twist. Can you see it? So there's that, and I think this is also missing one, one of the tools, it's missing the dusting brush. Two extension wands that obviously fit onto the, that way, whoops, that way they go on, to the handle. And then of course, the hose, you've got little, there's a little a slidey switch there, so you must just, Oh, it's, oh, that's a lovely click action. Oh, I like that. I'm going to do that again for you a bit closer. Listen for the click. Ooh, very satisfying. I like a good click fit. Oh, I could do that all day. But we won't. We've got things to be doing. Here is the upholstery nozzle. Upholstery stairs curtains. Crevice tool for all your nooks and crannies. Oh, we've got three ones. I thought it was a little bit short. There are three ones with the Hitachi stowaway. I suppose they're giving you three short ones so they all fit in the box. And we'll attempt to fit everything in the box in a minute. I'm not going to make this a hugely long video. That's a little bit grubby, isn't it? Nothing that a good wash won't sort. Yeah, a bit worn, the brushes. You've got two um, strips, what do you call it, there as well. But, um, yeah, pretty useless, the brush, really, because it, uh, the strips are longer than the brush. What it looks like to me, because there's a lot of carpet fluff 
in those brushes, the user has probably used this machine yeah on hard floor mode on on yeah they probably used it on hard floor mode on their carpets which is why that's all worn that's branded Hitachi I had one of my first televisions I had in my bedroom when I got uh, the very first TV I was allowed to have in my bedroom was a hand-me-down as as was the tie uh, the, the style at the time Things got handed down back in the old days. So I, I had an, an Hitachi black and white portable in my bedroom, needed one of those circular aerials to make it work, and no remote, I had to get up and twist a dial to tune into Prisoner Cell Block H that I shouldn't have been watching on a school night. So, it's very small, it's like a sort of, mm, Bit more of a deluxe porter power. It's, I think it's, it's probably about the similar weight to a porter power. Looking at the machine itself, it's not bad, not bad condition. I, I wondered what that green sticker was. Um, I saw it in the picture and thought, what's that about? I've got the on off button. On off. It's a uh, model CV7405, says there. Obviously, that's the end where we click the hose underneath got a swivel caster two wheels of course it's got automatic flexi wind something that the Porter Power, Huber Porter Power never had as far as I know not even in America that's the exhaust vent obviously it's a shame there's no um, blowing mode for this it does feel like a quality made in Japan Unlike Made in China, when you saw Made in Japan, back in the day, it was normally a good quality appliance. Or consumer electronics were often made in Japan, until they started making them in cheaper places. Quite a short lead, but that came out smoothly. We'll try to rewind it, shall we, folks? We'll rewind it. It's nice to have one of these. I saw it... Oh yes it was, I was going to say it wasn't a buy it now, it was an auction and they'd started it at £20 and um, it was finishing at a silly time so I put a bid in, a maximum bid and I got it for £20, which isn't bad I suppose Right, let's try the old, oh I, was going to, I can't use my foot, it's uh, hand operated Yeah, it's going to take, yeah it's it's because the cable's a bit coiled. Oh, it's not bad. Nice, quiet, smooth action. <laughs> well, that looks like an old sticker. Item XV Vac Cleaner. Hmm. Now, is that 15? No good with my Roman numerals. I always have to look it up. If I wanted to date an old television program, you can go online and put Roman numeral calculator and just put the Roman numerals in and it tells you. So that's a nice, nice smooth action. It feels a nice little cleaner. Nice little thing to have. Right, it's bagless of course. This is before the Dyson, uh, Dyson came in. It's not cyclonic of course though. Yeah. That must be to uh, your little hand piece recess. So press the ground button, release and you've got a motor, Not no idea how loud or what this is going to sound like, never seen one in real life but as I say I remember seeing these in Argos catalogues I don't know how much they were, maybe about £60 possibly, 50 to £60, I'll have to look online see what's what. The filter is very similar to that Toshiba the Toshiba one is uh, it's a similar colour to this, but it's a lot more square. The Toshiba looked more Porter Power shaped. Ah, oh, it does have, look. Any of you who know the Hoover Turbo Power Freedom will know that that awful bagless cleaner, I did have one from you. It was awful as, as far as filtration went. But it had a pleated filter like this and it had a knob at the front that you went like that to clean the filter, supposedly. Is that the right word? 
supposedly. Anyway, not sure if I can wash that. Um, oh, it smells. I think I probably can, mm, but I'd better look. I'll, I'll double check. I'll just do a bit of research. It'll vacuum off. If it won't wash, what I'll do is get my SIBO Duo powder and just rub it in as much as I can, which will brighten it up a bit. And there's the uh, little bagless container. You've got your little flap to help stop the dirt coming out of it. At least the, at least the cellar's emptied it more or less, haven't they? So that's going to get washed. Okay, folks, don't want to drone on for too long over this one. What I'll do now, plug it in. Might, we might get an explosion, eh? What do you think? Well, obviously, if you're seeing this video, any explosion that's about to happen, I survived. Right, let's pull out the cord again. Making a funny little noise. Let's pop that box up there. Japan, you see. I'd like to go to Japan one day because um, of their, you know, their technology and gadgets. Make sure it's off. Let's plug it in over here. Hang on. Um, what? Oh, I need to unplug something. I don't want to unplug my light. Oh, which I have done. <laughs> so many things plugged in over here. Oh, right then. Now, because Japan is a highly populated country, they tend to, ha tend to like things small and compact. So you don't get, I don't suppose, they might have Kirby's in Japan, but I don't think they'll sell very many. They tend to go for much more smaller things in their very small apartments. They don't have a lot of square footage, which is why a cleaner like this would have been popular. I expect it was available in Japan, right? Okay, let's switch on, shall we? Light the blue touch paper. <laughs> no, actually, no, I'm not that brave. I've been getting a bit foolhardy. I'll turn it on here first. There we are. Right. <sighs> okay, let's give it a go. That's very, very quiet. Crikey. That sounds lovely, doesn't it? I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to be and not have pure. Oh, yeah, it's got a bit of a smell. Right, okay, it seems to work. So I think I'm brave enough now to switch on again. sound like there's much airflow. Oh, there's a bit, it's not bad. It does, it does sound very nice, doesn't it? Oops. There's the fan and the motor. What is the wattage of this actually? I've not, not been able to see a doobie. Is it on the box? Doesn't seem to be on the box, does it? Hang on. You'd think there'd be a sticker giving it a wattage. Oh, that is. Well, from the sound of it, it sounds like it might be about 600 or something. That is strange, because normally there's something on them, isn't there? To, uh, well, I'll check, my, I'll check the old Argos catalogues. I'll put this model number in. If you want to find out more about this, just Google it. Just Google Hitachi CV7405. There'll, uh, there'll be information on this on the internet. Yeah, that's odd. No, no doobry. Right, well, what I'll do then, I'll be off. I'll just pop, pop, put, put a little bit of dirt down. Don't think it's going to make much of a dent in the dirt, but you never know. And uh, give this a good clean. 
Oops. There we are. Let's put the old hard floor. Oh well, I'll have a quick, have a quick test. Put a little bit of dirt down. Then finally, before I end, we'll try and put everything in the container. I'll put that other tube on. Well, try and stow everything away. And then the machine is actually designed to fit, as you can see that's where the wheels go, it's designed to fit on top. And it does clip into place, so you can carry it around. So it's a very handy little thing, they should make a modern version really, shouldn't they? But if they did, it'd be made in China and it'd be bagless. And it wouldn't be a Hitachi brand, I don't know if Hitachi still make vacuums. But they certainly don't have them available in the UK. Right, it's on carpet setting. There we are. So what I'll do, get some dirt down and we'll just do a bit of cleaning. Okay, just a little bit of dirt I've emptied out of Henry's bag there. Seems to be mainly rice and tea leaves and bits of paper and fluff and... Ooh, what's that? Shiny. Ooh, it's a shiny blue thing. I don't know what that's off. Anyway, let's give it a go. Might perform a little bit better when I've cleaned the filter. The snow ploughing look. Not bad, but that isn't bad, is it? But sounds to me like it's already losing suction. I bet that filter is uh, clogged up. Dear me, right, I'll pick the rest of this up and then uh, I'll start soaking these bits in some biological washing powder and get this Hitachi looking a little bit better than it does now. Thanks for watching this video folks. Before I go, let's try and pack all the bits inside the storage box. Now on the bottom it says rug floor tool and there's a picture. I don't know if you can quite see it under the dirt. Can you quite see that there? Just about, can you? Anyway, so I assume that that means put the rug floor tool in first. That takes up quite a lot of room, doesn't it? Now I can see why that the handle comes off the hose, otherwise you wouldn't be able to get it in. I think I'll put the two small tools in first. Obviously this would have had a dusting brush. And then the hose will coil around a bit. Alright, well that's fine. But now, oh dear, I've still got all these bits to get in. I think there was probably an art to getting these. Perhaps I'll put the tubes in first. Hmm. Uh, right, right, that's everything in apart from the hose. So, yeah, that might work. Don't know how. Hmm. We'll see. It's an ingenious little idea. There's been other, other machines in the history of vacuums that have tried to solve the problem of storing the tools. The most notable one I remember and I did have was the Hoover Portable that stored everything inside a big suitcase shaped vacuum. But the machine itself was absolutely, well it was like dragging around a heavy suitcase. It wasn't very practical because it was half metal. The base half was metal, top half was plastic. I think they were made in France. They were in the, in the uh, 
the ones we got in the UK were, right, I've put all these bits in, and I'm hoping, hmm, now oh, that's how it goes, at the back there's a little lip, see, well there's a lip on the machine and a little cut out at the back, so we must have to locate that first. And then click it in at the front. There's a there's that little clip there, look. Hmm, come on, get in. There we, oh that's it. Oh, well it's not ideal. I'll probably have to spend some more time working out how to do it. Look, it's it's bowing a bit. The hose isn't in correctly, but look, there's even a bit where the cable, the plug comes out. But it is clipped. Looks a bit better fitted that side. So, that is a handy little device, isn't it? I think you'll agree. Nice, compact, everything stored away. But I think there will be a knack and a technique to getting it in properly. I've not quite done it right, but... When I'm not being filmed, I'll have more time to fiddle about with it. Okay, I'm going to give this a clean up. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the Hitachi stowaway, I'll see if I can answer them. But Google it. The internet is full of resources for you vacuum fans. Well, ah, us vacuum fans, shall I say. Is that the correct English? We're all fans watching this, most of us, of the humble domestic vacuum. See you all very soon. Bye for now.